Within the universe, there are a hundred billion galaxies. Our galaxy is but one of them. In it, there are a hundred billion stars. And towards the outer edge of one of the spiral arms is an almost insignificant dot. A medium-sized, not very bright, undistinguished star. Up close, it's a different story. On the planets closest to the Sun, Mercury and Venus, the heat is intense, their surface is scorched. Further out through the solar system, the sun's rays weaken until they are powerless against the chill of space. The outer planets are frozen, but in the middle lies the Goldilocks planet. Not too hot and not too cold. In fact, it's just right, and life has flourished in the warm glow. All life on Earth owes its existence to the sun. It powers every natural system and sustains every plant and animal. Without the sun, the planet would be a barren, lifeless ball of rock. Recognizing that power, humans have always worshipped the sun. But we have also always striven to understand it. These monuments are more than just temples. They are calendars and observatories, tools for studying the sun. And with every closer look, the sun has always surprised us. To our ancestors, its power was its reliability. Always on time, never changing. But the reality is proving to be very different. Most people think of the sun as quite a boring, constant sort of thing. But in fact, it's not at all. It's changing all the time. And if you look, you can see those changes on a matter of minutes or hours. And it's far from uh, static and boring. It's, it's changing, and it's got a life of its own. Modern solar observatories magnify and filter the sun's light to get past the constant glare and give a clear view of the surface. This is the actual face of the sun. It is turbulent and boiling. Never the same from one second to the next, the surface bubbles like a giant bowl of porridge. Each bubble is a thousand miles across. The heat and light brought to the surface raises its temperature to 6,000 degrees centigrade, enough to vaporize solid rock. And the sun is huge. You could fit the Earth inside it a million times over. Periodically, huge explosions rip through the surface, releasing the energy of a billion atomic bombs in seconds. All this is on the surface. To understand the sun, we must know what is going on deep inside. That is where the power is generated. If we could harness the sun's power output for a single second, it would satisfy the world's energy demands for the next million years.